Hi guys and welcome to the old boys bench. Okay, it was mentioned on one of the forums as to why I wasn't running the big fan that this motor was designed to run at the correct efficiency. And the reason was is because that big fan would not fit on that shaft at the time. But in all fairness we have to do that. So now this house fan is uh, with the fan that it comes with and is designed to run at that efficiency with. I have uh, simply welded a bolt on the end of the shaft just held it on by hand and welded it. It's not completely straight but it's good enough to do the job. So we uh, are going to lose a little through vibrations. The second thing about this I've had to reverse the polarity on the motor so as it spins um, in the same direction as our fan is supposed to spin on that motor. So the problem with that is the brush timing isn't set up to run in repulsion mode, it's designed to run in attraction mode. So um, the timing's not going to be quite right, so it's not going to be quite as efficient. However, we're going to do the test anyway. Um, and carrying out tests under the um, advisement of other members that do the very same sort of research as you do is um, pretty much well the best you can do. So of course we have our watt meter up here reading zero. We'll get the RPM on low, medium and high of the fan um, along with the watt. We can then convert that to revolutions per watt. And hopefully when we stick that dirty great big thing on here Although it's going to slow it down a little and increase the current, we're still going to be doing better than what this machine here is doing. So I've got some coarse sandpaper and sandpapered the um, blades to take the shine off so it doesn't interfere at all with the RPM uh, meter. And of course we have our little bit of reflective tape there. Any mistake that is made will be made on both units however it is reading accurately so we are laughing so we'll go ahead and we will start the fan up we're going to start on low okay and we will take our RPM reading Those of you who wonder why it drops down speeds up, because the uh, voltage down in the shed is not so good. It's unstable, along with my hand. And of course the motor will be heating up a bit and becoming less efficient. Go for 938 on the high side. Um, so on low, it's 938 RPM for 28.7 watts. Okay. So now we can go up another gear. Once again we take our RPM reading. So uh
1107 seems to be quite popular. And our watts now is 33.2. Okay, we have a little speed to go, then it's flat out. Okay, 12.04. Twelve oh four for thirty-seven point three watts. Thirty-seven point three watts. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll switch the camera off. Because uh, I need two hands to do this. Take the blade off of there, place it on this motor, and I'll calculate all the um, RPMs per watt, which with those numbers there you can do, simply a matter of dividing the RPM by the watts, and that will give you RPM per watt. Okay, so uh, we'll be back shortly. Okay, we have this big propeller on the motor, can't see the motor from the top, but anyway, it's on there. Our voltmeter and our amp meter, of course our transformer as we've been using, and our rectifier. And like I said, things are rewired to run in the correct direction as per the fan, so as we can keep everything as even as possible. Okay, so we will let her rip. We will hope the fan stays on the motor. It's pushing backwards, so it should be okay. Okay, first we will do our volts and our amps. Our volts is 22.22. 22.22. Our amps are 1.5. One point two eight six. One point two eight six amps. And no, I'm not going to do those calculations in my head. We're going to get our trusty old iPhone. Okay. have 28.57 watts. You of course can check all this as we're going along. Our RPMs. to go on the low side which is 1585 I believe we can double check that so it's fifteen eighty five is our average now all we have to do is divide the RPM by our watts, which in this case will be 1585 
divided by 28.57. That gives us 55.47 revs per watt. Now, calculations we got on the other one. On low, 32.68 revs per watt. On medium, 33.34 revs per watt. And of course on high is 32.37 revs per watt. So it would seem that the medium setting on our house, house fan is the most efficient. And like I said, the minimum of this motor is supposed to be by Australian standards 86% to 89%. Um, so that's what we have most efficient there is 33.34 revs per watt and our rotary transformer is doing 55.47 revs per watt and that is of course driving the UU big bang uh, now we could have stuck another reflective sticker on there while no one was looking you see how wobbly that was but as you will see we have only the one sticker. I'm not into party tricks, I'm into showing what I have exactly as I see it. And that is how I see it. 55.47 revs per watt from our rotary transformer and our U-boot fans maximum is 33.34 revs per watt. Um, Oh, and of course I still don't have the second coil in the motor yet, uh, which will improve that slightly more, and also running in the right, right direction would help as well. So uh, that's the test with the big fan done. Uh, please leave your comments either on my channel, uh, on this video, or on the forums. Thanks guys.